How's it going everyone? It's Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Good to have you along on the channel today. And something you guys have probably noticed when watching GeoGuessr videos, my videos, is that most countries don't actually show up on GeoGuessr. For example, the whole of Africa pretty much has no coverage. Only about 10 countries have it. Then over in Asia, we're missing significant parts as well. The Pacific Islands, it's the same story. And that also applies to the Caribbean as well. So obviously while the game still takes incredible skill and you can learn so much about the near 100 countries that do have coverage, the other half of them are completely missing. Well, there are a few GeoGuessr maps that actually address this problem. One of them was created by David Walker. It's called Unofficial Street World. It only contains unofficial coverage, so no Google Car Meta, and it is basically the complete GeoGuessr experience if they actually drove in all the countries. So the locations should be chosen to be fairly balanced and have some decent clues. And this is my first ever time trying the map. It should be quite a bit of fun. Let's just get into here and see how many countries we can actually guess in a row and also just see what we think of the map. Here's the first round. I've got the author names turned off by using a script and uh, here we go. So immediately just not looking around, this should be Germany to me. And the reason is these bollards, which you see in many countries, but the fact that this one's orange, means while the other one is white, that is a German clue. Because in Germany, the reflectors tend to be orange next to intersections like this, whereas normally next to road, they're just white. So looking at these signs, we also have German language, which definitely checks out to me. And now we just got to go on the vibes. Do we have some brick buildings here? Yeah, we do. So this looks like we may indeed be in the northwestern half of Germany, um, where you do see a lot of that kind of brick architecture, kind of reminiscent of something you'd see in the Netherlands or something like that. And uh, yeah, looking down the road, it definitely fits. It's very flat, open farmland, corn. Yeah, everything fits rather nicely here. So I would actually indicate, it looks like we might have a place name there, but I would, I would probably think that we're somewhere quite close to the Netherlands here, just with the density of brick. Most of the houses seem to be made, be made of it. So I would be thinking somewhere like near Münster or like that kind of area, just outside the Ruhr Valley. So I'm just gonna go for this guess. And actually, it was all the way, oh, of course, I forgot Denmark, which also is filled with brick buildings. Oh, but hey, 4,000 score on this map is not too bad. Good start. And let's head through to the next round here. What are we going to get? Loading in here. That's the bad thing about photospheres. They load a bit slower. But here we have a country that probably isn't on GeoGuessr. And we have this same Peugeot three times in a row. Unless they happen to have um, three white Peugeots with the uh, window half down each time, which I highly doubt. But okay, let's take a look. I mean, before I look around and see any flag or anything, I was thinking this is probably North Africa or Algeria. Um, it kind of reminded me of Turkey quite a bit. So I wondered about like Iran or something like that here, but let's take a look around. We also have uh, blue strips maybe. Yeah, so I think Iran's actually a really good guess here. And we do indeed have an Iranian flag. So that's good that I actually made my guess before I looked around. Otherwise I would have seemed a bit, uh, you know, presumptuous, but okay. Um, looks like we are indeed in Iran here. The landscape to the south, I think the compasses should be correct here. To the south, we have uh, dry mountains to the north, not too much. I mean, Iraq is actually worth it. The first one I've picked here, working really nicely. Do we have a central roundabout here? We could just go for that and see. I mean, I really don't mind that kind of guess. Just because these mountains, they're not too big. And these ones, yeah, they're kind of middle height. And then uh, to the north, yeah, we don't really see any elevation here. It's a fairly populated place. Imagine if I zoomed into the right one first. I imagine there are a bunch of um, cities along here that kind of fit that description that we've talked about. But this one, Iraq, actually works quite nicely. And I'm going to go for it. Will it be correct? Oh my goodness. I should have actually lined that up a bit nicely. That is actually a crazy start, guys. What? Are the chances? I mean, I knew the mountains looked good. I did, but to have it be the first city we zoomed into, I've got the I've got the vibe guesses on Iran, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we get a four thousand nine hundred ninety eight score, so we're already on a smoking start here. And uh, yeah, the next one here is not looking quite so easy, perhaps. Um, it kind of gives me Arabian Peninsula Gulf states vibes here. Um, but it's a bit poorer than you'd see in like UAE or Qatar. So I don't, I don't think Bahrain looks like that, but maybe Kuwait or something, or maybe Saudi. So let's take a look around here. Um, okay, so this definitely reminds me of the UAE, but again, probably not there. I actually just thought this could easily be Oman, or maybe even Yemen. So let's take a look here. Um, yeah, we have a stop sign, bilingual stop sign, very Gulf state, I feel. Um, what about the houses here? Yeah, there's not much to go off of here, is there? Just, just basically the houses and the road quality and this kind of thing. Um, and it's very flat. I don't think we saw, oh, we did We did see some hills. Okay, that's silly something. So I, I feel like Kuwait might be quite flat here. Uh, do we actually see any elevation there? It looks like everything's built on a grid. Maybe the nature reserve would have some, but I feel like Kuwait we can maybe, not rule out, but it feels less likely at this point. 
um, based on what I see here. So, yeah, may, may have slight heals, hard to say. Oman, though, definitely probably fits better just because of the amount of healiness you have there. So I think that's my, my guess at this stage, maybe even closer over to the UAE. That could actually be a good guess here because it does look like the UAE, but just poorer. Um, and I know Oman has money, but not in the same way the, the UAE does, in my opinion. So yeah, that's kind of my thought here. Um, I can still heavily see Saudi Arabia, Yemen's an outside possibility, Bahrain, maybe. Yeah, anything in this area though. I think this is a good hedge as well. Um, and I think, I think Oman Loki might be correct, although maybe if it's poor or it's in the south. I don't know. Let's go for the guess here. And okay, not too bad. It was actually UAE, but just all the way inland. So that's why it looked like the UAE. Um, and I guess this must be the poorest part, right? Because you wouldn't see such poor road quality in Dubai or Sharjah, for example. And of course, Abu Dhabi does not have proper coverage. So, and apparently they drove the cars there. So one day we probably will have that, but for now we do not. Uh, I would love full country UAE uh, coverage because it's actually fairly sizable. But okay, next one here. We're on a great score still. We can we can actually pull a really good one. And we have orange number plates here. I remember that's a Cameroon clue. So let's take a look around, see if everything fits for it. I mean, everything, the people look right here. The French um, also fits for Cameroon, I think. So this might just be the capital to me. Um, yeah, orange number plates everywhere. So should be correct about that. Um, do we have anything else here? Um, I don't really see anything that like says the city name or anything like that. WVLC training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely a lot of currency transfer going on here. I don't really know what currency they would use in Cameroon, but that sometimes indicates you're somewhere near a border. Um, and, and there are some cities near borders here, like this one, for example. But I don't really, th I don't see anything that like, where it's like, okay, yeah, there would be a big city where they would have to change a lot. Like, seems like most of the population's in the center here. Yaounde uh, seems maybe best to me, in my opinion, at this stage. It's very green, which I like for this area. Um, I think my main idea would be here, or maybe because we're closer to the border up here in this city, perhaps. Um, what about the, like, road? Is it on a grid? It appears to be somewhat on a grid here. I mean, this road is straight through to there. This city, though, I'm seeing is very, it's not very gritty. Like, there's a bit here, but then once you get out, it's very sprawling. Yaounde is probably the same, to be honest. Yeah, this is a very sprawling city. Although it does have a bit more grid action over here, so I might, I guess I might guess in that area. Um, I don't know. It's definitely Cameroon. It's somewhere in the green section, so we shouldn't be too far. 4,000 plus points here, but yeah, let's go in here and see. And okay, it was instead in Douala. Um, that makes sense. Pretty close to the border, I guess, but uh, yeah, 4.3k is also good. Okay, next one here. What are we going to pull? And this is an interesting one. Definitely feels like, like sub-Saharan Africa or just like in the Sahara, indeed. Um, we have wooden poles here. That's kind of interesting because there's not that many trees. Um, and we actually have English here, which throws me off a little bit because <clears throat> to me, this kind of looked more like a country that would probably speak French. So, uh, I was thinking maybe like Burkina Faso or Mali or something like that. But, um, let's think if this is English speaking, it could be Northern Nigeria. Did the infrastructure feel Nigerian? I, I want to say not. Um, but it's not out of the question. Certainly could be Nigeria. I think the kind of mud brick houses here, they feel more like Malay that I've seen in the past. So I'm trying to think, is there another English speaking country here? Benin, maybe. We could be in Northern Benin here. I kind of like that idea a bit better. Um, Benin and Togo, I forget which one speaks French and which one English. Or if they're, no, they might both be French. I think it's actually Ghana and Nigeria, the only English speaking ones, right? Um, oh, and Liberia as well, but this is too dry for night, Liberia. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that is kind of what I'm thinking here. I, uh, I, I probably will actually lean if we can't explain the English, then probably just like lean Burkina Faso as a hedge here, hedging for Niger, Mali, Burkina, um, maybe even Chad as my fourth option, but I think it's in that area. Um, yeah, I really do. I really do. The people, the people look right to me. Um, it could even be like Sudan or something, but again, the English, I'm not really sure. Cash. It's interesting. I don't know. It, 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 there's really no clues in the writing here. So I'm just going to make up my guess here. See if we're correct about it. And it was just in Ghana. That makes perfect sense of the English. I don't know why I didn't think of Northern Ghana because the poles fit. I don't know. The architecture maybe felt a bit further north, but yeah, I mean, this area doesn't have coverage on GeoGuessr and it is like the most deserty part. So we actually managed a consistent 4K points on each round there. We actually stayed above 4K 
every single time for a 21.5k there. Um, and we almost got the country five times. I mean, not really. I mean, we could have. We could have had the country five times there. Three out of five is still a good effort. And uh, let's go for one more on no moving, and then we'll play a no moving panic or zooming just to see how I can go. But that was a very exemplary start. I'm very happy with that. Next one here is in Israel. We got Hebrew. Um, I don't think you'll see Hebrew like this anywhere else. It's very green. It makes me want to say we maybe more north towards like Haifa or something like that here. And yeah, I've not learned to read any Hebrew for GeoGuessr, so yeah, I would probably just default into a guess here. Um, so Tel Aviv, Netanya, Haifa. That's my main thoughts here. Even though it is very flat, I'm still going to go Haifa just because I associate that thing with, with being like the greener city in uh, in Israel. So I'm just going to go for it here. And it was Netanya instead. Not bad. Yes, there. Very good score in terms of points. So let's just go to the next one here. This immediately reminded me of the green section of Bolivia. Um, let's take a look around and see if that could fit. We've got a bicycle here. That makes me think of Europe. <laughs> so completely switching sides. The pole in the distance. What is that? It almost feels like it has a, has a hole in it or something. Um, we have a lot of corn growing here. Or actually, sunflowers? Yeah, maybe sunflowers, not corn. So that would make us lean Eastern Europe, definitely. Um, but the bike feels more Western European. That is almost undoubtedly the, the property of the guy who ta who's taken the photosphere, though. Yeah, he's wearing a helmet. And, oh, and he's got some sandals on. Excellent. Um, uh, yes, okay. Uh, we, we have some fairly warm climate-looking vegetation here. This almost feels quite ancient. Um, not, certainly not a new construction, and that mountain is very prominent as well, in a way that's kind of weird for Europe. So that's what we're working with here. I thought of like Romania, um, Ukraine, uh, Bulgaria, something like those. Uh, the pole out of the three maybe fits like Bulgaria best, but I'm not so sure about that. That's a southwesterly mountain, which would make sense for the kind of area I was thinking of in Bulgaria. Maybe we were like here. And we'd be looking at a fairly prominent mountain like this one near Schumann or something like that. So I kind of like that idea. And that also definitely fits with the uh, sunflowers, which are commonly found in that Eastern European area around the Black Sea, I would say. So, yeah, I guess this is my main thought. Um, I could see it being quite Western as well. Western Europe, it just depends what kind of road we're on. If this is like a more m widely used trail then I would think it's more Eastern Europe. But if this is like a very much an off-road, then it could be Western Europe too. But yeah, I think I'm happy with my guess here. I think there's at least like a 25% chance we're right with Bulgaria here. So let's see if we're right. And okay, it was India. I guess that makes sense of the bike. And the infrastructure in hindsight makes sense, but I was never thinking of that. But again, the prominent mountain did feel weird for Europe. So that like what I mean by prominent is like we're looking flat all directions and then we see just like a random mountain like random mountains don't really appear that much in Europe I mean it's more just like the Carpathians and then the Alps but like if you like think about northern France you know you're not going to see random mountains jutting out so yeah that was interesting um definitely a hard one um without looking at any people or buildings it was really tough but uh, even the infrastructure I thought was European so what can you do next one here are we Caribbean or something we have uh, a bit of language here. Yes, yeah, so that's African language, I would say, Og Ogbunga. Uh, si Simon Ogbunga. It sounds like a Nigerian name. This could be Lagos to me. Let's see if we can see any license plates or anything. Uh, yeah, that might be green on the license plate. I think this might be Lagos, you know. But the buildings, I mean, they feel fine, but let's take a look here. Yeah, so quite a bit of English going on. Is it? I assumed it was. Oh yeah, here we go. Buy, order, your sold ice block here. Interesting. So yeah, definitely English speaking and definitely West African to me based on the language. So I think that pretty much puts us in Nigeria. Uh, the pole is not familiar to me. This I guess it could be Liberia as well. I think Liberia had different... Uh, hmm. I think Liberia had different license plates to what I see here. This looks like a Nigerian one. So I can't see exactly, but that is my assumption at least. Uh, okay, here we go. This is useful. Emmanuel, Evangelical. Okay, that works. Port Harcourt. Okay, so Port Harcourt is actually down here, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely would have gone Lagos here just based on the vibes. But yeah, Port Harcourt makes sense. Normally, Port Harcourt has very pe poor air quality because they do a lot of oil refinery around there or oil uh, extraction. But uh, on this day, it was nice and clear. So, you know, let's go pretty much... I mean, it feels kind of like we're near the ocean here to me. So I'm going to go in this area of the town here. And yeah, region guest Port Harcourt, you know how it goes, but that's a good guess. Okay, man, the first two, uh, the first, two out of the first uh, four, three guesses here were good. Okay, we have Portuguese pavement here. 
Lotta 3. Interesting to me. Um, it looks still Portuguese. These, build, these bins feel Portuguese. The houses all fit. Although it's not a guarantee. We could still be in France. Could still be in Morocco or Spain. Morocco is an interesting thought here. Now, uh, for Morocco, I'd want to see some litter or something just to separate it from Western Europe. Obviously, sadly enough, that can be a good clue. But uh, I don't really see any here. So I'm definitely leaning Portugal just as a default. Um, but it could just be a really nice area, a bit of a bait location in, in, in uh, Morocco as well. Um, but yeah, I don't really see any evidence for that beyond, mm, beyond like a slight vibe I get. And it definitely feels coastal. Look at these plants. So yeah, that's kind of my vibe here. Um, you know, North Africa is well possible. I feel like this Peugeot, if it is a Peugeot, I think that is one. And they shop all the time in Africa and like Iran and stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not fully sold on the Portugal idea, but I think I'll just go Southern Portugal to hedge a bit. And uh, let's go in Lagos, Portugal instead. And it was something Portugal. Wow, what a guess, man. That's a really nice one. I guess we are pretty much as close to Morocco as you would, you could get. So that explains the mixed vibes. And the last one here, man, this could have been a nice seed. And this looks like Dakar to me. Um, so I wonder if it is Bengali or if we're actually looking at India. We have thin, we have thin pants met here. So maybe this is actually India in West Bengal or something. Um, let's take a look around here. Thin pants met. I mean, it... It's more of like a Bangladesh thing where you see the thick pants rather than the, well, rather than the skinny ones, but yeah. Um, okay. I mean, we see a lot of green and red motif going on here, but that could just be Islamic rather than like actually Bangladeshi, which I mean, would still point you to Bang what's Bangladesh, of course, but yeah. Uh, poles here. I mean, I don't see any Indian poles, but I don't see any specific Bangladesh ones either. Um, it's definitely one of those two countries though, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, okay, so it's definitely, I mean, this could just be India. I definitely can't count it out. Oh, we have some headscarves here. That's what I was look, really looking for. Two of them in a row. It could just be saris, though. I don't actually, I don't actually make out that they're specifically Muslim ones. Maybe the pink one looks more like it. Um, I guess also, like, sometimes in Muslim countries, people say a meta is to look for more men on the street, and even though this guy's duplicated, then so is this guy. Yeah. It's still more men on the street at this on this occasion. So I'm between Kolkata and Dakar, and I think I will lean Dakar here. Yeah, oh, but she's uncovered as well. So mm, I don't know. It is hard to say. She's got some kind of... Hmm, I actually can't tell here. This is a little too hard. A little too hard to actually make out. I don't think there's any specific clue. Um, other than the fact that it definitely looks like Dakar I've seen before. But why not Kolkata? Why not? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll trust the thin pants. I think we'll trust the thin pants here and say that this is India. I'm going to go for that. Kolkata it is, but obviously Dakar, my second thought here. So we'll see if we're right about that. And it was Dakar. Damn it. Oh man, we really threw a, a really promising game there. 19,000 again is still great. I mean, man, we could have had such a, such a good score there. It really shows that, you know, the GeoGuessr stuff, it does, it does carry over to countries without official coverage, to be fair. Um, every country we had in that seed did have official coverage, but, you know, still. Okay, um, it was no Google Car Meta. So now we'll head into our NMPZ and, uh, see how we can fare on that. Honestly, really enjoying the map so far. No complaints about it. It's been pretty good. Okay, next one here. India again, I think. Like, the walls around the houses, the colorfulness of it all. Um, I would assume we're there, and palm trees would put us maybe more southern. If I'm right about that, it could be Africa, it could be Asia, outside of India as well. But yeah, definitely just leaning India based on the architecture. So I would uh, probably, yeah, as I said, more Southern, maybe like Goa could be possible here. Um, but anywhere in the Southern region, I would say in the, in the Southern tip of India. So I'm just gonna go for it here, let's see. And okay, it was actually in Nepal, just over the Indian border. So can't feel too beat up about that. We didn't really see much, it was an alleyway. But uh, yeah, maybe like the particular particular architectural style could have uh, leaned us towards Nepal there. Maybe, maybe. Okay, next one here. South Africa. Well, we have yellow outer lines. I think it's actually Lesotho, right? The buildings certainly feel that way. Um, just trying to think. I mean, it's so strange seeing Lesotho outside of Google coverage, but I can only assume we're there based on what the hills look like here. Even though they are both sides of us, which is a little strange, but stray dog here as well. That feels very good for that area of the world, obviously quite commonly found there. Um, I guess the only other thing, it kind of looks a little bit like South America. 
and the question is, could you could we be looking at some random yellow lines? Um, I say that because like these blue shutters on the windows almost feel that way, but I think all in all, I would be silly not to go Lesotho here. Like it really feels that way. We have like a lot of rockiness just on the side of the road here. I really think it's Lesotho on this occasion, so I would be clicking somewhere around here maybe and, and hoping that it's close. Oh no. Yeah, something about one of those buildings was sus to me. I was pretty confident though, and that's Pakistan. So it's India and Pakistan that caused the big blunders so far. This area and Nepal, I guess, the three lowest scores of the video. Um, but that's interesting. I guess it's a part of the world you don't see too much in, in, in normal coverage. So yeah. Okay, this one's interesting. Immediately, like, Pacific vibes. This feels like an Australian or New Zealand pole. Um, Heineken's also in English. Dad's pies. I mean, pies is also a typical Australian food. So, food. Um, so, yeah, somewhere out here. Fiji doesn't feel too good to me. I think Fiji might look a little different to this, but something around there. I ever thought of, like, Cook Islands, which belong to New Zealand, just because this, uh, pole feels a little similar to a New Zealand pole. And, um... Wait, is, is Cook Islands, right? I think so. Yeah. Wait, I might actually be throwing this. One of the islands nations. I think so. Uh, yeah. I think so. Oh, was it? No. No, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. Um, that really made sense to me. It, it just, even the road kind of feels a bit New Zealandy, And the pole definitely does. So I think I'll go for that. Um, but ultimately, it could still be a bunch of other places out in the, out in the Pacific. I just think it's there. Also, this, like, Asian car, two in a row, three in a row. Yeah, feeling good. Uh, Tip Top. Also, not a brand I'm associating with Australia. So, I feel like that might be, mean we have more of a New Zealand influence here. Therefore, Cook Islands is my guess. Okay, we don't see the ocean right near us. So, I guess we'll click one of these inland roads. And we are going north-south. And we have a hill to our north, so actually, it means there's only a few places that work here, I think. If we're going north-south with a hill north, hmm, yeah, maybe this island itself is actually not the best guess. I want to, I wanted to say it was, but yeah, I guess directly north-south, okay, we could be on a road like this. Imagine if we just found it, that would be insane. Um, but I don't believe so. Okay, what, how does it bend? Somewhat, some, something like this. If we're there, of course. It's still worth pursuing this idea, I think. So, the road... Hmm. Okay, let's check these ones here. So, we're looking for the tip top... No, we're looking for Dad's Pies is the name of the shop. Surely not. I mean, it seems just so possible to me that... Hmm. Hmm. Vibe Cafe. There's definitely there's definitely a lot of options here. I, I, I want to believe it's here just because that would be fun, but I think I'm actually just going to put in my guess on this occasion, call it a day, um, and maybe the compass is wrong, or more likely we're on the wrong island here. Let's just check out one of the other ones here. Yeah, that one's probably a bit too small. This one feels a bit more infrastructural. Made up a word there. Okay, let's go for the guess here. Palmerston. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, let's go for a guess. See if I correct about our vibe here, and... Oh, no, the one I didn't check properly. That's still a really good guess, no? I got the New Zealand vibes off it. It wasn't actually a New Zealand pole, but it bore similarity to it. And there we go, that is Cook Islands. And it was 5 k honestly. What does it say? The Oh, it is a Heineken store. What? That's so strange to me. I, okay, we wouldn't have been able to find it anyway, I guess, because I wouldn't have been looking for that, but still a great guess. Okay, uh, the second last round of the video here, we are in the middle of the ocean. I mean, <laughs> in the snow, and we have Icelandic bollards here. Um, and I really don't see any point in just going, for, like, in, like, <laughs> trying to look for this. Let's click one of the middle roads in case it's there. But, yeah. Um, okay, was this road instead? Makes sense. Um, yeah, good score, good score. And the last one here, can we get to 15,000? It kind of looks like Germany, but a bit poorer. Um, and I'm taking that back. I'm thinking this might actually be, like, Bosnia or, or Serbia or Montenegro or Kosovo or something in that area. Just kind of reminds me of that with the architecture. Also kind of hilly, cobblestone, that kind of thing. Yeah, it kind of looks like Bosnia to me. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's good. I don't really, I mean, it could be another continent, but the, the building on the left looks particularly, you'd have to say, European. I guess Central America would be my other idea. Mexico, Guatemala, or something further east. Um, but the cobblestone road should lean this Europe. I think I'm happy with it, and I think Bosnia. 
because it, it looks a bit Serbian, but not quite, is my idea here. So let's go in the mountains here in Olovo and hope that we are correct. Will it be correct? No, it was Brazil. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. I don't know. I immediately disqualified Brazil in my mind, but that actually makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, just all the way down south there. Cobblestone Road, pretty common in this area. And then colorful houses, I guess. Yeah. But even still, the house was very Germanic looking. As I said, immediately, Germany was my first call. And, you know, there are a lot of Germans living down here by ancestry. So that makes sense. 10,000 only on that last one. A couple of bad guesses, but a couple of good ones too. Particularly this one is a pretty pretty good guess overall. Getting Cook Islands, right? You know, I'll take it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. Let me know if you want to see more on this map. I'll certainly bring it to you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, guys, and goodbye.